start streaming. <laughs> Tommy Lee's a dick. <laughs> <laughs> we are recording right now, so that is amazing. Yeah, I knew we were. Yeah. Listen, if you hadn't seen Tommy Lee's dick, do you should. Google is a thing. Tommy Lee Jones? Mm-mm. Big difference. So, eh, why we don't know that. Well, that's true. Well, are we? What are we doing right now? It's recording this. It is recording this, and this is now in my search history. <laughs> what? <laughs> yep. Why are you? What is happening right now? <laughs> Just a picture of Pamela Anderson. Well, she got it once. <laughs> she on a one, boat. One. Oh yeah! Didn't they get married on that boat? I and don't then, know. Okay. There's just a picture of them banging on the boat, or like a video of them banging on the boat. Oh, okay, yeah. Now your Gmail's on the recording. This is the most professional session of... <laughs> professional AF, Craig. I believe the correct personation of that is professional AF. AF? AF. Um, Ask Ryan Reynolds. I, I, oh, I, I don't personally know Ryan Reynolds. I do. <laughs> And he pronounces it AIF. Oh, okay. Because he's Canadian. <laughs> I thought you meant like he actually said this in an interview one time. That is also true. But oh, he's did also he? Canadian. Okay. Yeah. Do we want to play the first turnabout? I feel like that's what we're here for. Hey, welcome to <laughs> As of Beholder. Let's play something. Let's play what the new hell are we playing? chapter. We're playing. Uh, what is this? Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, BS Back. Um, BS Back. Is this like Harvey Birdman? It is. I don't, know, I don't know why Harvey Birdman is. Fair enough. You should look that up on your off time. Yeah. You'll enjoy it. Okay. You're welcome. Okay. Was that a... Uh, it was a cartoon. It was a cartoon Adult on Swim. Adult Swim. I was not yeah. allowed to watch Adult Swim. Uh, yeah. Same for Toonami. Really? Yeah. Toonami's for kids. Toonami was yeah. anime, therefore Japanese, therefore... Un-American? Un-American. <laughs> <laughs> therefore, you know, all that. Did you just have to walk around chanting USA? No, I had to walk around chanting better, red than, better dead than red. Oh, commie. Yeah. You can't be a communist. Wait, to to my uh, alt-right grandparents, didn't matter what, what the red different mean. was, difference was, it was... But between communist and Japan? Yeah. That Japan's not communist? Yeah. Gotcha. Chinese is communist. Yeah. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> they just thought it's anime, it's from China, can't be it's, a communist. It's from over there. Gotcha. There's a big difference. There is a big difference. China doesn't have anime. <laughs> they don't. <laughs> they don't have that shit. All right. Let's play. Anyways, Phoenix Wright, attorney at law. Ace attorney. At law. Ace attorney. <laughs> at law. <laughs> That's what's after attorney. Unless he's just not at law. He just is There is no after. It's Ace attorney, TM. Is his name Ace attorney? His name is Phoenix Wright. <laughs> he's an attorney at law. <laughs> Play. I will. I think you have. I think you'll figure out that there is no actual law here in this game. Look, at, he's pointing. That means he's at law. That's the That's objection good. side. Okay. I object to this whole conversation. <laughs> I object to life. Hey, wait a second. First turnabout. What is that guy a communist? Probably. He's in. He's in. You know. I'm over at the, there. I'm. In, <laughs> I'm at the guy in the jacket. Oh, I have no idea. Okay. He seems surprised that we're here. The guy in the jacket? Yeah, he's like... Oh, I thought you meant like the... <gasps> Trip. Is this me or you? Go for it. Okay. Damn it! Why me? I can't get caught. Not like this! Gotta find someone to pin this on. Someone like him. 
I'll make it look like he did it. Dun dun. <laughs> so anyways, if you hadn't figured out now, we're voicing all these characters. Yes. Boy, am I nervous. Right. Oh, hiya, Chief. Phew, I'm glad you made it on time. Well, I have to say, Phoenix, I'm impressed. Not everyone takes on a murder trial right off the bat like this. That says a lot about you, and your client as well. Um, thanks. Actually, it's because I owe him a favor. A favor? You mean you knew the defendant before the case? The you knew the defendant before this case? Yes. Actually, I kind of owe my current job to him. He's one of the reasons I became an attorney. Well, that's news to me. I want to help him out any way I can. I just really want to help him. I owe him that much. Oh, it's over. My life. Everything is all over. Is that your client screaming over there? Yeah. It's him. Death, despair. Oh. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna die. Oh, it sounds like he wants to die. Um, yeah. Nick! Hey, hey there, Larry. Dude, I'm so guilty. Then tell them I'm guilty. Give me the distance. I ain't afraid to die. What? What's wrong, Larry? Oh. It's all over! I, I'm finished! FINISHED! I can't live in a world without her! I can't! Who... Who took her away from me, Nick? Who did this? Oh, Nick, you gotta tell me! Who took my baby away? Hmm... The person responsible for your girlfriend's death. The newspapers say... It was you. My name is Phoenix Wright. Here's the story. My first case is a fairly simple one. A young woman was killed in her apartment, getting blood all over the floor. Wait a second, I didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> the guy they arrested was the unlucky sap dating her. Larry Butts. My best friend since grade school. Our school had a saying. When something smells, it's usually the butts. Hmm. <laughs> In the 23 years I've known him, it's usually been true. Just the hairy butts. He has a knack for getting himself into trouble. <laughs> <laughs> One thing I can say. <laughs> it's a good thing is you can start over whenever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can edit yeah. that out because you're an editor. I'm, I'm an editor if I, you know. Or you can just leave it. Or leave it. One thing I can say, though, it's usually not his fault. It just has terrible luck. But I know better than anyone that he has a, he's a good guy at heart. That and I owe him one, which is why I took the case, to clear his name. Sorry, I just needed some ice cream in the freezer. <laughs> well, that's fine, Larry. And that's just what I, I'm going to do. That's just what I'm going to do. August 3rd, 10 a.m., District Court, courtroom number two. Dun dun. Bang. I feel like there's sound actually in the game, right? Oh, like a. Yeah, the gavel. Is <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I, th Dude, I think. I want to hear it, so I don't know. Yeah. 
I mean, I say, a court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Larry Butts. <laughs> um, the prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The, um, defense is ready, Your Honor. Um, Mr. Wright, this is your first trial, is it not? Y yes, Your Honor. I'm, um, a little nervous. Your conduct during this trial will decide the fate of your client. Murder is a serious charge. For your client's sake, I hope you can control your nerves, boy. Thank <laughs> hey, hey, you, Your Honor. Mr. Wright, given the circumstances, I think we should have a test of your assertion, your readiness. Yes, Your Honor. Yup. Handshaking. Nice. Eyesight. <laughs> fading. Arms I'm are weak. His <laughs> palms are sweaty. Spaghetti. Mom's spaghetti. Spaghetti, spaghetti, spaghetti already. Yeah, right, whatever. Go on. We killed it. You killed it, I killed it. The test will consist of a few simple questions. Answer them clearly and concisely. Please state the name of the defendant in the case. Now is it Mia Fey, Larry Butts, or Phoenix Wright? Um, I don't know. I think it's Larry Butts. <laughs> Larry Butts. The defendant, well that's Larry Butts, Your Honor. Correct. Just keep your wits about you, and you'll do fine. Next question. This is a murder trial. Tell me what the victim's name was. I know this one. Glad I read the case report cover to cover so many times. No, you didn't. I was sitting right here. I skimmed. Fair enough. <laughs> it's, wait. Uh-oh. Sweat, 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 sweat. Sweat, sweat, sweat. No way! I forgot. I'm drawing a total blank here. Phoenix, are you absolutely sure you're up to this? You don't even know the victim's name. Oh, the victim. That's you, motherfucker. Oh, the victim. Well, of course. I know the victim's name. I just got nervous there. Spoke, spoke as you for a minute. I, um... I, um... Damn it, motherfucker! <laughs> Well, there just, goes the family content. <laughs> edit that out. Just put a bunch of beeps. <laughs> I, um, just forgot. Temporarily. I think I feel a migraine coming on. Look, the victim's name is listed in the court record. Just press tab to check it any time, okay? This uh, is a tutorial. Remember to check it often. Do it for me, please. I'm begging you. Oh, uh, no. That's, Mr. Wright, that's who happened. is the victim of this case? It said tab, right? All right, tab. I mean, it feels like Cinder Block, but I feel like that's not <laughs> right. Cinder Block. Cindy? So that's all we need. <coughs> Whoa, who's the bangs? Cindy Stone. Cindy Stone. Cinder Block. I mean, yep. It's close. <laughs> Checks Nick, out. Nickname. <laughs> nickname of Cindy Stone. Mm. Victim in this case, a model, led by herself in an apartment. I just want to say, the V-shaped bang, bangs, not many people are like ballsy enough to rock that. But I mean, right over the eyebrows, even the eye a little bit. Just like right, I mean, that is. I mean, sh yeah. That is strong. But she is a model. So. I mean, it's out there, but yeah. Yeah. Nope. There, sit this stuff. Sit. No, you wanted to do. No. Yeah, I, I, I wanted say, to do. I Mr. Rock, who is the victim in this case? <laughs> it just. <laughs> um, the victim's name is Cindy Stump. Mm, correct. Not, not, not. <laughs> now, tell me, what was the cause of death? She died because she was. She was struck once by a blunt object. 
Mm, correct. See, I've, You've answered all my questions. I see no reason why we shouldn't proceed. You've reached the minimum level that's required to be an attorney at law. <laughs> now, see, I've played this up to this point at least. Probably further. Yeah. Craig is not. Nope. Not Craig so. is unaware. I've watched the anime that was based on this game. I mean, Which... I, I feel like I'm nailing these voices perfectly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. For uh, Colonel Sanders type of... Uh, he's got a big beard. He is. He's also... Uh, what was that rooster? Uh, Foghorn Leghorn. Foghorn Leghorn. That's Leghorn. kind of who I am. I mean, I'm imagining Foghorn of Leghorn. Like of course. Every southern jackass. Yeah, yeah. Like landowner jackass. That's who I'm, who I'm channeling for that. Yeah. I'm a landowner. Not... <laughs> Like half an acre plantation owner <laughs> from like eighteen hundreds, like that's what I'm okay. channeling. Okay. Yeah, yeah, <clears throat> whatever. Oh, I feel you, Chris. Yeah, it's there. <laughs> you seem to be much more relaxed, Mister Wright. Good for you. Thank you, Your Honor. Because I don't feel relaxed, that's for sure. Well then. First, a question for the prosecution. Mr. Payne. Yes, Your Honor. As Mr. Wright just told us, the victim was struck with a blunt object. Would you explain to the court what just, what that object was? Um, the murder weapon was the statue of the Tinkerer. It was found lying on the floor next to the victim. I see. The court accepts it into evidence. Statue recorded. Added Do we to have the, to read that? No. People can read. If you can, I, if you can read out there, give us good a for like. you. If you can't read, leave a comment. <laughs> if you can read, give us a like, comment, and subscribe. If you can't, I don't know. Just leave a comment. Just say push, if they can't read. Leave me a sentence that says the, I can't read. Hit the thumbs up button. Leave a comment that says my name's Jared. I'm 19 and I never learned to fucking read. <laughs> I, I, I survive. <laughs> right. Be sure to pay attention to any evidence added to in the trial. That evidence is the only ammunition you have in court. Use tab to check the court record frequently. Bang. Mr. Payne, the prosecution may call its first witness. Um, the prosecution calls the defendant Mr. Butts to the stand. God, it's a lot of me. It is. Go ahead. Uh, Chief, what do I do now? Pay attention. You don't want to miss any information that might help our client's case. You'll get a chance to respond to your prosecution later, so be ready. Let's just hope he doesn't say anything unfortunate. Uh oh. Larry gets excited easily. This could be bad. All the more reason I'm glad I didn't go with, like, smooth, cool hippie. <laughs> um. Waste of voice. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Butts, is it true that the victim had recently dumped you? Hey! Watch it, buddy. You, we, were, we were great together. We were Romeo and Juliet. Uh, we were Cleopatra and Mark Anthony. Oh, didn't they all die? I wasn't dumped. She just uh, was taking phone calls or see me ever. Was it you anyway? I love um, the animation style of this yeah. game, too. Um, Mr. Butts. What you describe is generally what we mean by dumped. In fact, she had completely abandoned you and was seeing other men. She had just returned from overseas with one of them the day before her murder. What do you mean, one of them? Lies! All the lies! I don't believe a word of it. Your Honor, the victims are passport. According to this, she was in Paris until the day before she died. Passport again. Passport added to the court record. I don't know. Yeah. <clears throat> People <can. clears throat> Indeed. She appears to have returned the day before the murder. Oh no. No way. The victim was a model, but did not have a large income. It appears that she had several sugar daddies. <gasps> daddies? Sugar? Yes. Older men who gave her money and gifts. She took their money and used it to support her lifestyle. Dude! 
We can clearly see what kind of woman this Miss Stone was. Tell me, Mr. Butts, what do you think of her now? All right. I don't think you want him to answer that question. <laughs> yeah, there is a way of running his mouth in all the wrong directions. Should I? Oh. Wait and see what happens or stop him for answering. Mm. Fight! <laughs> <clears throat> <laughs> Next <laughs> time on Dragon Ball Z! Uh, I don't know what. Is it? <clears throat> I don't know how long we've recorded that and hey, time in this. Do you want to just do this episode? Like this? That's it? Yeah. Alright. And then. <clears throat> what will Larry say? Will he disown his girlfriend? Will he say that he still loves her? Find out Ad next time on Admit Ace Attorney, Ad it's right at law. Admit to murder, maybe? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Anyways, that's a lot of stuff that just happened there. Um, I have a lot to unpack myself here, figuring out what the hell I'm doing with my life. Sugar daddies. Yeah. Um, you took most of the voices. You never see... You're next. I'm the next person that shows up on screen, they're all you, sir. All right. Whoever they are. You want to just rotate? Huh? Yeah. Like, like from boom, next boom, next boom, time boom, it's boom. one after the other. We just okay. switch off. Yeah. All right. And I'll give you that because I think I skipped somebody. Hmm. I think I skipped some of your words. <clears throat> oh, I I just kept up going with them. I think I was switching back and forth pretty quick there. Yeah. At one time. No, like it's like at the beginning. I know I clicked clicked uh, before it was done. That's fine. Anyway, what do you want to do? <clears throat> I mean, I feel like we should stop him from answering. I feel like we should stop him from answering, but also wait and see what happens, might. I mean, I'm all for this dude dying. He's <laughs> going into Are we prison. trying to win this game, or are we just trying to play it? We're just trying to play it. Let's see what he says. Welcome back to... Uh... Yeah. Yeah. This is... Ace Attorney Phoenix Right at Law DDS uh, All the Trilogy Edition Yeah Yeah He also is a dentist He's That's the DDS <laughs> I thought it was a TM <laughs> Oh he's a TM too? Man This guy's got a lot of titles He's got just so many titles He's well educated Anyway Might be better not to Get involved in this one Why I just click Yeah you've got Um well, Mr. Butts. Dude, no way. That she, she dog. I'm gonna die. I'm just gonna drop dead. Yeah, and when I'm here in afterlife, I'm going to get to the bottom of this. Well, let's continue with the trial, shall we? Um, I believe the accused motive is clear to everyone. He has quat. Oh, boy. This is not looking so good. I just want to point out that if we never object, he's literally not going to do anything, I feel like. <laughs> if we don't object anything? Yeah, if we didn't like step in and say, hey, don't say anything. There are times where it's like, you got to find the... Okay, cool. Oh, uh, yeah, you'll see. <clears throat> um, next question. You went to the victim's apartment on the day of the murder, did you not? <laughs> <laughs> well... Did you, or did you not? Hey, 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 well, maybe I did, maybe I didn't. Uh-oh, he went. <laughs> he fucking went. <laughs> what do I do? You're the attorney guy. It's literally your yeah, voice. I, I you know. Really pl you've played this when you were like 15. It's been a fucking while. Yeah, so you run the thing. I, I, I was giving it to you, because you have most of the voices. But that, but that, then I have to run the I'm mouse too. Tired of fucking clicking. <laughs> You're tired of clicking. Well, I'll do like seventeen <laughs> voices. <laughs> oh. Oh. What do you want to do? You're the attorney. I Ace. know I'm the attorney. The attorney. But this Phoenix is also Ace, a game. Right. Ace, Ace Phoenix. Ace Phoenix attorney. <laughs> Ace Phoenix, <laughs> barely an attorney. Barely an attorney. See, kind of, he, he passed the bar with those questions that the judge gave him. <laughs> that was I mean, the, that's what it takes. <laughs> I'm going to have him answer on this, of course. I know. I'll send him a signal. Table slap. Chin scratch point. 
tell the truth. Um, yeah, yeah, I was there, I went. Mumble, 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 I'm guessing. Hold up. Well, Mr. Butts. Dude, chill. She wasn't home, man. Like, I didn't see her. Objection! Oh, that was me. I'm Jackson, Your Honor. The defendant is lying. Lying? The prosecution would like to call a witness who can prove Mr. Butts is lying. Well, that simplifies matters. Who is your witness? The man who found the victim's body. Just before making the gruesome discovery... He saw the defendant fleeing. Oh, let's see this one guy. I just switched to him. He saw the defendant fleeing the scene of the crime. <laughs> Gotta read the names, people. <laughs> so Gotta so read the names. So many voices. Order. Order in the court. Mr. Payne, the prosecution may call its witness. Yes, Your Honor. This is bad. On the day of the murder, witness was selling newspapers at the victim's building. Please bring Mr. Frank Shawett to the stand. This is all you, Frankie. Fuck, it's me again. Oh, yeah, it is. God damn, damn it. it. <laughs> uh, Mr. Shawett, <laughs> you sell newspapers to Christians, is that correct? Yes. Oh, yes, newspapers, yes. Mr. Shawett, you may proceed with your testimony. It's all you. <laughs> it's so much you. God damn it. Please tell the court what you saw on the day of the murder. <clears throat> Witness testimony. I was going to the door, selling subscriptions when I saw a man fleeing an apartment. I thought he must be in a hurry because he left the door half open behind him. Thinking it strange, I looked inside the apartment. Then I saw her lying there, a woman not moving. DEAD! Getting blood all over the floor. I, qual I quailed in a fright and found myself unable to go inside. I thought to call the police immediately. However, the phone in our apartment wasn't working. I went to a nearby park and there I found a public phone. I remember the time exactly. It was 1 p.m. The man who ran was without a doubt the defendant sitting right over there. <sighs> Claire, why didn't you tell the truth? Oh, Claire, you're fucked. They can't defend you against a testimony like that. Incidentally, why wasn't the phone in the victim's apartment working? In your honor, at the time of the murder, there was a blackout in the building. Aren't phones supposed to work during a blackout? I'm surprised. Surprised as fuck. Yes, your honor. However, some cordless phones did not function normally. The phone at Miss Shawett that Mr. Shawett used was one of those. Your honor, I have records of the blackout for your perusal. That's a weird term. Perusal? Perus I mean, it's to like look over things, kind of. No, I, I know, I know, bit. but it's your... a word that I would commonly use. <laughs> it's perusal. Perusal. For your perusal. I'm not. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna peruse. Yeah, peruse it. No. Yeah. From noon to six p.m. That's a long ass time for a blackout. That is. Is it? That seems, mm. that seems excessive. Yeah. It does. We're gonna object. Now, Mr. Rot. Object the blackout. <laughs> yes! Uh, yes, Your Honor. You may begin your cross-examination. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Cross-examination, Your Honor. Alright, right. This is it. The real deal. Uh, what exactly am I supposed to do? I just passed the bar, like... Ten minutes ago. <laughs> Why? You exposed the lies in the testimony the witness just gave. Lies? What? He was lying. Your client is innocent, right? Then that witness must have lied in his testimony. Or is your client really guilty? Oh shit, I thought... 
Question mark. Excl exclamation point. Exclamation point. How do I prove he's not? You hold the key. It's in the evidence. Why are you making this so sensual? Me. <laughs> yes. Listen, I'm an anime girl. I have large breasts, big eyes, and hair that doesn't move. And it's kind of cut off in a weird angle by my ear. It is cut off in a weird angle it's, by your ear. That's what I do. <laughs> Compare the witness's testimony to the evidence at hand. Yeah, I feel like that's an unprofessional outfit for this setting. There's bound to be a contradiction in there. Also, it helps distract people when they're giving testimonials. Yeah, it's distracting me. First, find contradictions between the court records and the witness's testimony. Speaking of which, court contradiction is going to be a probably our next let's play on this channel. Then once you found the contradicting evidence, present it and rub it in the witness's face. Oh man, <laughs> why? <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay. Open the court record with tab, and then point to the contradictions in the testimony. Alright. I guess I'll open tab and find... <laughs> Why is his face not moving? That was the laugh he did that whole time. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was going to the door to door selling subscriptions when I saw a man fleeing the apartment. Do I have to read his stuff or we just No no, no we can uh I think we can I think I think it's good. You've already read it once. I can just yeah. put it in both. <laughs> Do you think just cut it and paste it? Like you're gonna do that. I've seen your edit. You edit like the first twelve seconds, <laughs> and then that's it. And then like the last twelve seconds, everything in the middle is just a shit show. <laughs> Whatever the fuck happens. Yeah. Quailed in fright is a weird saying. I just want to say that right there. I think yeah, that's the contradiction. That. <laughs> also, he went. How if he couldn't go inside? How did he use the phone? So he didn't touch anything in the apartment. Um, yes, I mean, no, nothing. Okay. What happens next? Right, I did, however. <laughs> <clears throat> the phone wasn't working. Did you object to that, or did he do that on his own? Oh, I can object to that. Oh. I've, uh, I'm an attorney at law, Craig. Okay, I feel like you missed the part of the abjection where you should have been like, hey, you use the phone? Oh, yeah, you can't really... Oh, okay, he just... Yes, He absolutely. just holds it. Okay. Hmm. He seems really confident. 1 p.m.? Right, doesn't that seem strange to you? Present some evidence to contradict him. Oh yeah, there's a blackout, right? For the whole, from like noon from to six? From 12 to six. I don't know. Um, I remember the time exact. Oh. Okay, that was you. Yeah. Uh, Tab. Yeah, let's see what we got. <laughs> time of death, between 4 to 5 p.m. There you go. Objection! You found the body at 1 p.m., you sure? Yes, it was 1 p.m. for certain. Hey, Slap. Frankly, I find that hard to believe. Your statement directly contradicts the autopsy report. The autopsy notes the time of death at some time after 4 p.m. There was nobody to, or er, no body to find at 1 o'clock. How do you explain this three-hour gap? <laughs> oh, that. Oh, uh. Um, objection. This is trivial. The witness merely forgot the time. After hearing his testimony, I find that hard to believe. Mr. Showit, well, why were you so certain that you found the body at 1 p.m.? I. Uh, well, I... <clears throat> gee, that's a really good question. 
Great, right? Way to put him on the spot. Also, there's a shit ton of me talking. There is a shit ton. That's all you have to do. Ton. Point out contradictions. That's all there is to being a lawyer, you <laughs> dumb shit. I feel like there's more to being a lawyer than nope, just that. That is literally all there is to it. <laughs> lies always get more lies. <laughs> See through one. There's the then their whole story falls apart. You know what old lies are called? Lays. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not true, that's what they're called, but whatever. What are old lies <laughs> called? I don't know. Lies. <laughs> I mean, lays, that, that sounds right. Right. Yeah. But it's not. It's it, just... I know. But it sounds funny. It's it's funny. It's yeah. a good joke. Thanks. Good joke. But good, sh- good joke. Good job on the joke. <clears throat> I remember now. Would you care to give us your testimony again? No. <laughs> <sighs> not really. God damn it. <laughs> you see, when I found the body, I heard the time. There was a voice saying the time. It was probably coming from the television. Oh, but it was three hours off, wasn't it? I guess the victim must have been watching a video or taped a program. That's why I thought that it was 1 p.m. Terribly sorry about that misunderstanding. Hmm, I see. You heard a voice saying it the time on a tape program, Mr. Wright. You may cross-examine the witness. It's fortunate that I'm a really fucking fast reader. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> That's why I gave you the No, cover. it's good. All right. You know what to do. I've, uh, I've got this one. <clears throat> good. I mean, it, so it I, makes sense because you've got I had all be- the voices. I had beans for lunch. I apologize. <laughs> it's, it's quite all right. Now, Craig. <laughs> Live action, yeah. like, black and white, yeah. like. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> and now, what would be your contradiction on this. Oh god, I don't know, maybe there's a statue found in there. It's, it's a blackout. For okay, me. okay. That's... <laughs> Jesus, really? <laughs> yeah, the, the statue, that's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone knows that. Hold it, right there. The prosecution has said there was a blackout at the time of the discovery. I'm proud of myself. Tap, tap, paper, tap. This record proves it. <laughs> you couldn't have heard of television or a video. No matter <gasps> how pornographic. Uh, I will er, er. The defense has a point. Do you have an explanation for this, Mr. Showitz? Uh, no, I, I find it quite puzzling myself. Quite. Ah! Wait, I remember now. Mr. Showitz, the court will prefer to hear an accurate testimony from the very beginning. Do we really? (laughs) (laughs) These constant corrections are harming your credibility. (laughs) That, um, you seem... That you seem... That sorry, I can't fucking. I'm so confused by my own goddamn. So many of you. (laughs) That and you seem rather distraught. It's good that the judge like is the judge in every case now. Good. (laughs) Um, That's an easy one. My apologies, Your Honor. It uh, must have been the shock of finding the body. Very well, Mr. Schuett. Let's hear your testimony. Once more, please. God damn it. (laughs) (coughs) I think after this testimony would be a good time to, uh... Sounds great. Yeah. See what we got. Where we're at. We really should start recording these. Yeah. Like, not recording, but like recording our time. Yeah. Okay. I'm ready. Actually, I didn't hear the time. I saw it. What's his name? Did you, did you catch the correlation? 
I saw it. Shaw it. Shaw it. Saw it. I didn't hear the time. I shaw it. Ha 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 There was a table clock in the apartment, wasn't there? Yeah, the murder weapon. The killer used it to hit the victim. That must have been when I saw, what I saw. You saw a clock. I guess that would explain it. The defense may cross-examine the witness. Gladly. Glad you could pipe up there and say something finally. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hearing the time. The murder weapon. Yes, the clock. That was used as a weapon. That's what I said. Did, did you doze off in the middle of my testimony or something, you dumbass lawyer? <laughs> Something's fishy here. Oh, they don't. Okay. Statue. Statue. It's rather heavy. Is that... Do they say that's the... Yeah. Oh, okay, they said that's the weapon. Oh, yeah, blood was dripping off. And... Yeah, and we saw that. <clears throat> we saw that. Objection! Wait just a moment. The murder weapon wasn't a clock. It was this statue. Now, how is this supposed to be a clock? What? You with your objections and your evidence. Who do you think you are? Just answer the question, Mr. Sot. Ace Attorney. Hey, I saw it there, okay? That's a clock. Your Honor, if I may. Yes, Mr. Payne. I wouldn't have stated this statue is indeed a clock. The neck of it is a switch. You just tilt it and it says the time out loud. As it doesn't look like a clock, I submit it as a statue. My apologies. What? Mossy. So the murder weapon was a table clock after all. Well, Mr. Wright. Our defense is shot to shit. <clears throat> <clears throat> it appears the witness testimony was correct. This is a clock. Do you have any problems with this testimony now? Yes. A huge do, one. Do we? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're not reading Oh, it. yeah. <laughs> Apparently, you do have lines. It happens. My bad. I, you know. Your Honor, there's a gaping <laughs> hole in the witness's testimony. Uh, the, only, the only way he could have known the weapon was a clock was to hold it in his hand. Yet the witness testified that he never entered the apartment. Clearly, a contradiction. That's our next let's play. Hmm, <laughs> indeed. Foreshadow, foreshadow, foreshadow. <laughs> the witness knew it was a clock because he... <laughs> went into the apartment. <laughs> because he know. knew the victim. <laughs> went into the apartment. You lie. You were inside the apartment on the day of the murder. Oh yeah? Prove it. Prove I went in there. I'll do better than that. I can prove that you're the one who killed her. Oh my god, he went to... He like, figured it out. Like, boom, boom. You struck the, You struck with a clock and, and the shock of the blow tr triggered the clock's voice. That was the sound you heard. Mumble, mumble, mumble. Order, order in the court. Intriguing. Please continue, Mr. Wright. I am fascinated to hear what you have to say. <laughs> also, if you have any fried chicken, I would appreciate some. <laughs> yes, Your Honor. Mr. Sot. The sound must have left quite an impression on you. Understandable, since the murder weapon spoke just as you hit the victim. Alright, the time is four o'clock. 
That voice was burning in your mind. What? The, the voice time is one o'clock. The time is one o'clock. The time is one o'clock. That's why you're so certain about the time. What? It's one o'clock. Um, what? What's the meaning of this? This is all baseless conjecture. Baseless? Just look at the witness's face. No! <laughs> Would the witness care to elaborate? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did you strike the victim with the clock? I, well, that day, I never... Look, I, the clock, I heard, no, I mean, I saw... saw <laughs> I'm bald. Slap. Shut up, shut, shut, shut up. I hate you. It was him. I tell you, I saw him. He killed her, and he should burn, burn, give him death. Order, order in the court, I say. Your Honor, a uh, moment, um, please. There's, there isn't a shred of evidence supporting the defense's claims. Also, I'm sweating profusely right now. <laughs> it's very sweaty. My glasses are falling off of my face. You can't see his fucking eyes. It's, so... very, it's very foggy in here. Yeah. I've got a lot of perspiration and conversation. <laughs> Mr. Rot. <laughs> Next game. Your Honor. Foreshadowing. The claim of the sound the witness heard came from the clock. Do you have any evidence? Well, case is writing on this. I better think, think it through carefully. Y Your Honor, the sound Mr. Saad heard was definitely this clock. A fact which is clear if you simply. Yes. What? Try sounding the clock. Try sounding the clock. I don't know. Let's sound the clock now, here in this court. Your Honor, may I have the clock? I asked the clock. I asked the court to listen very carefully. Beep. I think it's eight twenty-five. Yes, certain. That certainly is a strange way to announce the time. I'm very surprised. Well, he is the thinker, after all. So we've heard the clock. What are your conclusions, Mr. Wright? Mr. Payne, can you tell me what time it is now? It's 11.25. Ack! As you can see, this clock is excellent. Three hours slow. Precisely the discrepancy between what Mr. Saw heard and the actual time of death. Uh, so, so, Mr. Saw. Damn it, that was me. <laughs> Sexy pronounced show it. <laughs> Try to talk your way out of this one. First, I'm hyperventilating. <sighs> You've got one thing. Uh oh. What's he get? What's he talking about now? While it may seem like the clock is running three hours slow, it proves nothing! How do you know it's running three hours slow on the day of the murder? If you can prove that, if you can't prove that, you don't have a case. Question mark. That's not a question mark. A ex dot, 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 ellipses, whatever. Exclamation Cra point. Exclamation point. Yeah, I forgot that one. Yeah. That's a one that people use occasionally. <laughs> one that <clears throat> a lot of excited people use. Yeah. What is our time? I don't know. Oh, okay. What do you think is the uh, the thing here? What do I think the thing is here? Yeah. The, how we prove that it's three hours? Yeah, yeah. Fuck, I don't know. Let's see what they got. Do we have some oh, sources okay. and things? Really? A phone call in the middle of recording? I'm... So inappropriate. 
is right. Oh, am I going to prove that? I know I am. <laughs> Damn right, Phoenix. Damn it. That was so close. Mr. Wright! It seems you lack the critical evidence to support your claim. <laughs> there you go. Yep, you got it. Yes, Your Honor. This means I cannot let you indict the witness. Unfortunately, this ends the cross-examination of Mr. Frank Showit. I come all the way down here to testify, and look what happens. You treat me like a criminal. A criminal. You lawyers are all slime. Uh... I almost had him. Oh, was there supposed to be something we like actually put up there at that time, or like did we fuck up and we lost? Wait, did we fuck up? I thought we had. There was a thing. Sorry, Larry. I failed you. Wait, hold on. Will this work? Can we submit our lawyer no, badge? It's, it's supposed to be. <laughs> <laughs> no, most people would be like, yeah, whatever. The day before she was in Paris, the day before the victim of murder. How that have anything? Because she took the clock with her. And Paris is in a different time zone. Mm -hmm. There it is. Let's give him that. You, you can't. Here, you can't. take it. Take this. <laughs> we did it. it at the we judge. did it. <laughs> I'm sorry, Larry. I failed you. There's nothing I can do about it now. Like, yeah, we can't be like, oh, yeah, wait. <clears throat> Not so fast, Mr. Schwitz. <laughs> Who? Uh, Mia! I mean, Chief! Listen up, right? Don't throw this one away. Not like this. Think. But, Chief, it's over. I can't prove the clock was slow the day of the murder. Nobody can prove that. Um, well, yes. But that doesn't mean you can't still win. Try thinking out of the box. It's so essential. Don't, don't waste your time doubting the facts. Assume the clock was three hours slow and think through it. It's like the clock. Thinker. Ask yourself, why was the clock three hours slow? Figure out the reason, and you'll have your proof. Right, right? See what I did there with your name? Uh, it's a pun on your name. Well, no, I'm hard, Mia. <laughs> can you think of a reason why the clock would be three hours slow? Yes, we can. Dot, dot, dot. Wait! Maybe I can prove it. You must have some evidence somewhere that can prove it, right? Find it and let them have it. All of it. Give it to them deep and hard. I mean, give them the evidence they need. Oh, God, man. Well, Mr. Rots, you say the clock was already running slow on the day of the murder. Yeah, I do. Have you found evidence to support this claim? Of course. There's a piece of evidence in the court's record. I can prove my evidence, my claim beyond a doubt. Tough words. Let's see you pull this one off. I wonder how long you can go breathing like that. If we just... <laughs> That's about it. <laughs> Let's see this evidence. That proves the clock was running slow. I'm thinking it's the passport. Yeah, the passport. Yeah. Take that. The victim had just returned home from abroad the day before the murder. As we all know, the time difference between here and Paris is nine hours. When it's 4 p.m. there, it's 1 a.m. the next day there. The clock wasn't three hours slow. It was nine hours fast. The victim hadn't reset her clock since returning home. That's why the time you heard when you struck her dead in the, her apartment was wrong. Proof enough for you, Mr. Saad. Shot. Or should I say, Mr. Did It. 
fucking mouth. Order in the court, I say. Well, this case has certainly turned out differently than I expected. Than we all expected. Mr. Payne, your witness. Um, here, uh, he was arrested and has been taken away, Your Honor. That quickly? Very well. I didn't turn my head, so I couldn't see he was absconded with the police. Mr. Wright, shocking. Just shocking. Yes, Your Honor. I, I have to say, I'm impressed. I don't think I've ever seen someone complete a defense so quickly and find the true culprit at the same time. Thank you, Your Honor. At this point, there is only formality, but this court finds the defendant, Mr. Larry Butts, not guilty. Yay! It's just air horns and shit. And with that, this court is adjourned. Holy fuck. <laughs> <laughs> it turns out that Frank Sod was a common burglar. He posed as a newspaper salesman to check and see when people were at the house. Out of the house. Out of the house. That day. Black and white. When Larry went to her apartment, the victim wasn't home. After he left, Mr. Sod let, him, let himself in to do his dirty work. While he was searching her place, the victim returned that just gorgeous hairline. Right? It's like she's wearing a helmet. <laughs> it is! Flustered, Mr. Sod grabbed like the you, nearest... <laughs> like if you took the side bangs off, like the like the hair coming down, she looked like Krillin. <laughs> Put like three dots in the middle of her forehead right here and just get rid of this. <laughs> hey, what are you doing in my house? Kamehameha! Can Krillin Kamehameha? Yeah. Oh, I mean, shit. Yeah, destructive old disc. I mean, I do a terrible crew. Hey, hey, go. I don't know. Yeah. Whatever. Anyway, I'm not Lanny. Flustered, Mr. Slide grabbed the nearest blunt object he could find. Thunk. Blood everywhere, just flowing out of the head. I don't. There's sound effects probably. Why am I making? Maybe August third. <clears throat> August third. 2.32 p.m. District Court. Defendant in lobby number two. Is this a new court day? Are we doing something different? Is that happening? No, no, it's uh... We're still wrapping up? We're wrapping up. Phew. I still can't believe we won. Alright. Good job in there. Oh, thanks. Congratulations. Oh, thanks. Thanks, Chief. I owe it all to you. You're damn right. Not at all, I mean. Not at all. You fought your own battles in there. I mean, we're gonna bone now. It's been a while since I've been seen that trial. It's been a while since I've been waiting to bone. <laughs> it's been a while since I've seen that trial end on such a satisfying note. I've never seen the chief looking this happy. If she isn't this, if she's this glad, imagine how must how Larry must feel. Oh, he's gay. <laughs> <laughs> I get it now. He might be. Oh, my life is over. <laughs> this is you, by the way. Oh, Larry, you're supposed to be happy. What's wrong now? I was just like crying because he's. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Nick, don't worry about me. I'll be dead and gone soon. <laughs> Good. Wait, right, no. I mean, bad, 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 bad. Larry, you're innocent. The case is closed. <laughs> But, but my Cindy Wendy's gone, man. Gone forever. Larry, she was a... Uh, never mind. I ain't saying she's a gold digger. <laughs> yeah, she's just a fucking a whore. Uh, congratulations, Harry. <laughs> Harry? Harry Butts? Yes, you. I can practically see the headlines uh, now. Harry Butts, innocent. <laughs> um, thanks. I really owe you one. I won't forget this ever. Let's celebrate dinner, movie, my treat. Oh, no, I couldn't. <laughs> hey, 
I also want to get you off the hook. Oh, hey. Here, take this. It's a present. It's the thing that killed my girlfriend. How big would you like to have it? <laughs> it's not, not Evan's power or anything. It's not, it's not, I mean, it's not covered in blood or anything. <laughs> it's a little sticky, but it's okay. <laughs> a present for me? Wait, wasn't this the evidence that... <laughs> Actually, I made this clock for her. I made one for her and one for me. Really? You you made this? Well, thank you. I'll keep it as a memento. Yo, Nick. Can you believe it? I was so into that chick. And, and she was just playing me for a fool. Me! Don't make me, me just go cry. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. Back to me, Larry. Uh, are you so sure? Excuse me? What? This, this voice has been so perfect for this guy. <laughs> I think she touched quite a lot of you in her own way. Nah, you don't gotta sympathize with me, it's okay? Oh, I'm not sympathizing, really. Isn't that right, right? Don't you have something to show your friend? Something that proves how she felt about him? Is it my penis? <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Right. What the hell is she talking about? <laughs> I guess the statue? Because. I mean, it's the statue. Just this. <laughs> it's just. <laughs> Here you go! <laughs> Take that! Check this out, Larry. Proof positive you weren't some chump to her. Huh? What about that clock? This is the clock you made for her, Larry. And she took it with her when she traveled. Whatever. <laughs> She's probably the clock, that's all. Also, you put weird emphasis on words. You? Think so? <laughs> it's a pretty heavy clock to take traveling. I mean, are you Christopher Walken or something? <laughs> I mean, I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> well, like what, what you will. It's getting, it's getting worse, really. <laughs> you really need to stop now. <laughs> Nick, <laughs> I'm glad I asked you to be my lawyer. Really, I am. Thanks. Hope that made him feel a little bit better. Because of him, I'm a lawyer now. <laughs> is, are we stopping there? Are we still, is this still the same thing? I, I guess. All right. I hope you see the importance of evidence now. Also, hopefully you realize things change depending on how you look at them. People... Two. We never really know if our clients are guilty or innocent. All we can do is believe in them. And in order to believe in them, you have to believe in yourself. Right? Listen. Learn. Grow strong. Oh my god! <laughs> god <damn> it! <laughs> never let go of what you believe in. Well, anyways, I think our work here is done. Shall we be off? Yeah, I guess so. Say, how about dinner on me? Like on on you, or? <laughs> we'll drink a toast in our butts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh, I mean, two butts. Speaking of Harry... You were saying part of why you became a lawyer is because of him. Uh, yeah. Part, at least. He got me through the, uh, the entrance exam just, like, 20 minutes ago. <laughs> You'll have to tell me more about it sometime. Maybe over drinks. Are we gonna fuck, or is this... And so my first trial <laughs> came to a close. Larry slapped me on the back and said, Gee, gee Nick, I hope it's good to be fair. I've <laughs> <laughs> so much talking, I can't do it anymore. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, God damn it. Oh, Dick, it's good to have friends. But I'm pretty sure he's not going to pay us. Unless you count that clock he gave me. Dot, dot, dot. I don't know. I didn't know it then. That clock was soon going to be at the center of another incident. And my promise to tell the chief about me and Larry would be one promise that I wouldn't be able to keep. And that's the end of this chapter. Hey, we did it. <laughs> hey, we was... found the culprit. Oh, man. That has been so much. So much talking. A lot of stuff. I, I hope people are liking this. I don't. I should quit hitting the table because that's probably really yeah, loud. Yeah. But, um, yeah. I That was interesting and fun. It was. Uh, so, yeah. I hope you guys liked it. I don't, don't know if anyone will, but it was there. Yay us. It's up now. You know. That's what are you gonna do about right? it? Fucking nothing. Not now. <laughs> You're not gonna not gonna say a goddamn thing. Nope. That was a lot of me. <laughs> that was a, a lot, lot of you. A lot of me. That was a lot of you. Alright, well, catch us next time in the adventures of Ace Attorney Phoenix Wright. And Rebirth Attorney Law. TM TM Too Much Mojo. Too Much Mojo. TMM. DDS. DDS. Alright. Oh, oh. Stop. For the love of God, make oh. them stop. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. We should probably stop the recording here and, uh, you know.